Good morning. Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. At 10 o'clock every weekday, a staff member or volunteer will be here to share an object from our collection. So join us for each new Cam Look. My name is Betty and I'm a Cam Docent. When you wander through a museum, do you like to look for artist signatures like these from Monet and Renoir? I certainly do. Did you ever wonder how and why artists began to sign their work? We're going to explore that today by looking at the Kylex with Rooster and Hen from our Greek pottery collection. It is from Attica, the area around Athens, and dates to about 550 BCE. A Kylex is just a cup used at the drinking parties of the upper-class men of Greece. They would while the night away drinking and sharing everything from lofty discussions to low entertainment. The kylix, with its footed base and big ear-shaped handles, would have been easy to grab from the low table next to their dining couches. The design on this Greek black figure wear is elegantly simple. The outside is red and the interior black, with a medallion in the center showcasing a black rooster and his white hen. This wonderful design would have been invisible to the drinker until he had downed the last of his wine. But what does this Kylex have to do with artist signatures? Let's look at a little history. Throughout most of antiquity, artists were treated as craftsmen. They were told what to paint and how to do it. But that began to change with the ancient Greeks. Designs on Greek pottery began to change rapidly between 750 and 450 BCE. Artists became more sophisticated, evolving from stick figures to complex storytelling designs. Almost every generation of artists tried something new, pushing the limits of their art. At the root of these changes was creative competition that is, the desire to make a mark and be more attractive to customers. Eventually, artists must have wanted more recognition and began to sign their work. For example, our Kylex is most important because it is signed. Tlison, son of Nearchos, made me. I'm sure the owner of this cup would have told his friends that he had bought a cup from that hot new artist Tlison and would have proudly showed off that Kylex at his next symposium. So the next time you're wandering through a museum looking for artist signatures, I hope you'll remember Tlison and his colleagues. They were the first artists of the Western tradition to sign their work. And now the question of the day. When you're looking at a new art object, what do you like to do first? Do you like to step back and look at the object itself? Or do you first like to look at the wall copy and see the additional details at artist's name? Share your thoughts in the comments below.